Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, this video is not about you. Why are you looking in my ear? Um, um, so as you guys can tell, this video is about one of the dogs. Specifically, not that one. The big fat one! Specifically this one. <laughs> this is Kovu. 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 Hi, dude. Hi, my buddy. Hi. So, um, I'm gonna see if he will sit with me for the whole video, but I guarantee, hey, stop. I guarantee you he won't because his brother will wanna play with him and stuff, but, um, Bridge, uh-uh, no, hey, no. Bridge, stop, no ma'am, no sir. I just said no ma'am to him. Um, but, all right, come here, come here, stay right here, stay right here. Kovu is um, six years old. <laughs> but he's still a young chicken. Hey, get away from me. With them playing in the background, Kovu is six years old. He is a, I think his dad said he was a lab pit bull mix. Um, hey, hey, hi. Um, he is a fat boy. He is 94 pounds, probably 100 by now. Hey, okay guys, so he is, thank you for laying down. He's about six years old and he is a, um, lab pit bull mix um he is a fat boy he's 94 pounds as we know of he could be a hundred at this point um he's still very much intact which it i mean that's his dad's choice so i mean it's not like it's my choice but um he's intact and he is the sweetest sweetheart that you will ever know besides being like very playful and stuff like that. And sometimes he is a little monster. I'm not, I'm not saying he's not. Sometimes he is a bit of a monster cause he can be. Um, he is the biggest sweetheart. Like with Branch, he, he really helped us train Branch to what he is now. Granted, yes, he can be still a little monster, but I mean, all dogs can be monsters. So we really can't like say anything about it, but um, but yeah, he's super sweet. Um, he does have um, a few things wrong with him. He does have heartworms. Um, so he's on medication to try and get rid of those. Um, uh, on the 19th is when he starts his medication for his second round of treatments because we are doing a slow kill treatment. Um, so with the fast kill treatment, basically it would be more of an expensive route doing the fast kill treatment. Um, he would have to go to the vet for like three days and then he would have to come home, do minimal amounts of exercise. Basically, we would just have to like walk him on a leash and he couldn't go outside and play with the dogs or anything like that. And that's not who he is. Like he would basically have to be like, a he would have to be dormant for like, um, for like a month. So I was, that's not who he is. That's not what he, that's not like how his temperament is, his temperament. He can go from laying like this, but he can go from zero to 60 in like 2.56 seconds. So um, I personally didn't think that that was a good idea for him. Of course it was his dad's decision um, to make, um, but I know him personally, like I'm with him 24 seven. I can keep him from not doing anything, but it just kind of, that's not who he is and that's not fair to him, especially with his brother being so rambunctious and now we have like a puppy in our house and they're both rambunctious. So that's not fair to him. So I decided to, um, I decided to give my input and tell his dad, you know, we should just do the slow kill and just give him medicine. That way he can still be himself and not, be limited you know um so we did that for him and he he has been receiving it well um we will need to go get him checked i think after he does this next round of treatment i think we will have to go get him checked again but i'm not too sure um i can ask the vet when i take him back um we did take them all to go get their nails done the other day so when we did that um we did find on his paw 
Um, can I see your paw, buddy? I did find this on his paw, and the top had gotten better for a little bit, and then um, I guess it was just irritating him, so he kept on licking it. Um, and then she noticed on the side that there was a sore. I know, I'm sorry. She noticed on the side that there was a sore. Um, so she decided to put him on an antibiotic. Well, right now he is on an antibiotic for his paw and he does go back on the 27th um, for a checkup on his paw. You're so regal. Look at how regal he is, guys. He's so regal. I know, buddy, this is not about you. <laughs> this is not about you. This is about your brother. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You probably got slobber. I oh, know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You weren't done kissing. Were you not done kissing? Um, like I told you, he was so he's so sweet. He he protects me a lot too. He's a very big protector. He, like he's very regal and stuff, but he's a big big protector. Um, he when any anytime I'm scared, he's always right there. Um, and obviously I return the favor whenever he's scared. I'm like right there with him, especially on New Year's. New Year's is a big thing. New Year's and 4th of July are the days that he absolutely hates because he, um, he's okay with thunder. He's okay with like lightning and stuff like that. He um, really just hates uh, fireworks. And same with Branch and same with Sadie too. They all hate fireworks and those are their worst days is New Year's and 4th of July. They hate those days. Huh, buddy? Do you hate the 4th of July? I know <laughs> but um like I said he's super sweet and he's like a big baby he well who am I kidding he is a big baby let's just put it that way look at him he's so regal you're so regal um he's such a sweetheart and I love having him in my life um he's great and you know, even with his health problems, we are still trying to figure out solutions for him. And um, granted, no, he's not my dog. He is my roommate's dog. But um, I think of him as like my son. He's like my adopted son, you know. So I still think of him as my puppy. And um, I will do anything to help my roommate um, take care of him and everything because he is on the road a lot. Um, and, you know, it just makes more sense of um him being here and me taking care of him and stuff like that so um yeah but other than that that's a quick little update that i have on my kobo buddy and they're already starting again um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um tomorrow's video i'm probably gonna do a video with dakota and do kind of like an introduction slash update with her um hey hey stop stop dude no don't hey 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 People are watching you. People are watching you. But, all right, I'm going to go take care of them and tell them to stop. Um, I hope you guys are liking my Vlogmas Day videos. Thank you for coming and watching Vlogmas Day 15. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 16. And I hope you guys have a great night. And remember, it is a life worth fighting for. Plus, all of my social media will be down below. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, night. Bye everyone. Good night.